episode of Just Create. I'm your host, Thomas Duran, and founder and owner of TD Films. I tell you what, guys, I'm really excited about this upcoming show. Um, but a couple of things before we get started. Uh, there's some great uh, adventures that are happening in this next couple of weeks. I'm heading out to TNC Conference out in San Diego in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to bring you guys along with there. So showing you some behind the scenes, some of the classes I'm taking, just the environment that we're in. And uh, so we're going to take this show on the road. Um, but uh, that's happening in a couple of weeks, that uh, Traffic and Conversion Conference I'm really excited about. Uh, the other thing is that uh, we'll be also bringing new other guests in March uh, 15th and the 23rd. So, um, But to get this show started, I'm really excited. It's actually about time that I probably bring on someone uh, to really kind of, like I said, I mentioned, to class this show up a little bit. So, <laughs> um, But uh, I'm very excited to bring in Heidi Moore, who is a brand stylist, a graphic gangsta, and a style, uh, a stationary-ist? Yeah, stationer, stationer. <laughs> stationer, stationer. And uh, <laughs> she's just an amazing woman, a woman, an entrepreneur woman, a mom, a a, a, a spouse, and just, a, just an amazing creative. Um, and so I wanted to kind of bring her on and talk a little bit about that. So first of all, hey, Heidi, well, thank you very much for joining. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, you're very welcome. Last time that we kind of like really talked and hung out, you were just got married. <laughs> right, yeah, now you got you got a little one on your hands. Yep. And so, by yep. the way, congratulations on your Thank daughter you. there. Luna, is that correct? Yes, Luna. That yes. is fantastic. How is motherhood treating you right now? Good, good. She is five months, believe it or not. So. Jeez, please. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, my daughter is almost 10. So I know, I know. I know. It's flown by, but yeah, it's been a crazy past couple of years. So. That is fantastic. So tell me a little bit and tell us uh, the, uh, to, to everyone out there that uh, who you are and tell me, basically tell us a little bit about your story and how you got started. Yeah, so I went to school, uh, I actually was uh, accepted as a fashion major. And so I went into thinking I was going to be a fashion designer. And just through what happened, I ended up going into graphic design. And then when I graduated, I I started my company, but not with the intention that I thought it was like going, I was going to be an entrepreneur. Uh, it was just honestly a way to really really get creative in an area that I truly enjoyed versus working in the corporate world. So I started with stationery uh, at that time too, but I also did websites and logos and branding and, and things. And it, I just kept doing it for many years. And then I got to a point where I was like, one, one thing I had to give because I was working all hours of the night. So it was either like, do I want to move forward with this and make it something or stay in the corporate world and get rid of it? So I chose to keep it. Uh, my company is Idea Design. So it's my name, Heidi, spelled backwards. And now I mainly focus on stationery in the wedding industry. Uh, I, again, I do some marketing here and there and design work if um, it makes sense, but that's kind of where my focus is. And um, I do have a new little area I'm getting involved in, but um, that's upcoming. So I'm not going to share that yet. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> breaking so news here. No yeah, breaking news. No breaking show. news. Um, but I'm excited. So it's just kind of all, all the things I've done, you know, have transitioned to different things and also this new venture I'm kind of going into. It just allows me to use my creative skills and that's kind of been my focus. Um, and I think there's so many ways that you can do that. So I've been uh, fortunate to find different areas to do that and continue on. Yeah, no. So we actually met through the wedding industry, right? Yes. So um, I was doing some, a lot of wedding videos and you were obviously <laughs> doing a lot of yeah, stationary and, and graphic design yeah. work for, for weddings. I found that uh, industry very interesting, <laughs> needless to say. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, very interesting. Um, pretty cutthroat, actually. Surprisingly, well, I mean, you would think, but uh, but so, how did you really focus on that particular industry, or how did you get in that industry with your yeah. design work? Yeah. Um, well, at the time when I started my company, my sister, I lived in Indiana at the time. My sister lived in uh, Phoenix, and she was a wedding planner, so she started her wedding company. Uh, at that time had, had had it for a few years, but it just kind of made sense that I was doing stationery for her clients. So that's kind of how it initially started. Again, I never thought that that's like where it would be. And branding and websites were kind of my focus in the beginning. 
And then what I found, I, as I was trying to do again, all of it, <laughs> it was just too much. And stationery was, I realized it was kind of like where I was putting a lot of my effort and a lot of my time. So that's my main focus and how I, I promote the business. And that's how it came about. And then once I moved out to Phoenix, it just was kind of seamless. Uh, I, you know, I built obviously with weddings, uh, with the industry, it, to some extent, it's very, um, area focus, like you need to build your network wherever you're living. And so I had to re kind of rebuild once I got out here, but, uh, it just kind of naturally worked. And, um, uh, I think a lot of it has to do too, in what industry where you're at, their wedding industries are hotter than certain areas than others. <laughs> And Phoenix is a really hot um, place for destination weddings. There's tons of resorts out here, obviously gorgeous scenery. So uh, a lot of weddings are happening and they're never going to go away. Hey, <laughs> that is the truth. There's the only yeah. industry out there. I think it's like <laughs> bulletproof of any recession, any depression era or right. break of the economy. There's always that. Um <laughs> Hopefully I'm and I will say, and I want well, to speak on your, you know, it can be, you know, what you, with a cutthroat and an interesting, interesting, and, and yeah. about it. Uh, it can be, I think what I love about it is I know a lot of um, vendors and, and entrepreneurs out there in the wedding industry are like, I love love and, and I'm not that person. Like I don't do it because I love love or I, I mean, I'm happy for everyone <laughs> and like happy they're getting married, but that's not like what what drives me. And so I think my, with my profession is that I'm, I'm, I just kind of tiptoe in it, quite honestly, the actual wedding industry and my focus is the design and the creativeness. And so I don't feel as immersed in it. If yeah, that makes sense. That makes complete sense. Day. And so that does help me. Cause I'm not sure I could be immersed in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. But that, you, you touch on a really good thing though, because you're talking about your focus on the design and as a visual storyteller with video, I really, I'm just, I'm always amazed by the, the artwork that you put in and uh, with your stationery, because it really, I mean, it, you really focus on who that, who your client is, to, like their story, their branding, their, their, like you could tell like it, it's specific for that couple or that bride. Right. Like, so, I mean, how becoming like you're in marketing and you I feel like you really kind of developed that whole, idea of branding and graphics into one area where you you really know how to tell that story. How important is that to your brides? How important is that in your work? Kind of tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. And so I, my, the tagline of the company is own your story, live your style. And the overall idea behind that and the mission behind the company is to empower what, obviously in my case, brides and, and couples as a whole, but I'm working majority with brides, but the idea is to empower them to really just be who they are and not feel like they have to follow all these trends or follow the, you know, does it have to be super traditional or does it have to like, just, if you want, if you're traditional, then great, be that. Uh, so it's, the goal is to empower them to do what they want to do. It's their day. And to also like just continuing living that and through all aspects of their life and through stationary, I think that's why I love it is that each couple is so different. And so it doesn't feel, even though I'm repetitively doing imitations, it doesn't feel like I'm constantly doing the same work. And so each, each new person is a new story, a new design, a new kind of inspiration behind uh, what I'm going to do. And that just makes it fun and exciting. I love to hear people's stories and, you know, how they got engaged and all of that. So that all drives and inspires the designs and, you know, just naturally works itself out, I guess. It's not, uh, it's, there is some method to my madness, but, um, a lot of it is just using, you know, even my own inspiration around me, but just combining it all together. Well, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed because you are always, you're always creating, recreating yourself, always trying to improve your, on not only their brand, but your brand as well. And, and I think mm -hmm. if you, it, I'm telling you, people need to take a look at your work. Um, it is truly amazing. It's always evolving into just, it's very, very focused, but very eclectic at the same time, right? Like it's such, there's, there's such an amazing creativeness that comes out of that but you could tell your personality you could tell your your authenticity in that and so so you as a as a creator how hard is it for you to continue to always 
sort of mold into a new style, yeah. a new <laughs> fashion. And, and I wouldn't say like none of it's forced for me. So what you see is pretty much what you get from me. Yeah. Granted, I have my yoga pants days and I'm now a mom. And <laughs> so I'm not always like have makeup on usually, but, or maybe I haven't showered that day. <laughs> but in general, like what I'm putting out there is just naturally me. And it's how I've grown over like as a person. So that's what's evolved my brand. And you know, that's the whole mission behind my company has, it's been derived from my own journey. And so my own finding myself and, you know, empowering my own self to, to be who I am and not try to meet other people's standards or their expectations. And so with that, that's kind of how it's all came to where it is today To And I just empower others. And I found that like, just telling that story, I never was intentional about it. But when I would tell the story, it was empowering to others. So I was like, well, this makes sense because it is a part of my business. And I'm very much a part of my business, uh, the face behind it and everything. So that's how it turned out. And then I honestly, with the whole stationery and the wedding, that's what I say. I'm branding your day. So I'm presenting your brand to all of your guests, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, it's just naturally all come that way. Um, when I came to you for the video, uh, that's, that had been that's something in my mind for so many years and I, you know, slowly developed it over time and, um, really got to a place where it felt very succinct and I was ready to tell my story in a powerful way through visuals and through words. So. Yeah. So let's just dive right into that a little bit. Um, obviously you're right. Like, I was, you, I was very, very honored and privileged to be able to help create <laughs> this amazing video that honestly today, even today, if someone asked me, what's my best work, your video is the very first one I have shown. And really the only one I keep on sending out because, uh, it has got me a lot of attention. Um, uh, definitely a grabber. And, uh, I, I'm always interested and curious to see how it's, uh, affected you or, or, yeah. or not affected, but you know, like how, how, no, impacted. how yeah, yes. impacted is a great word to yeah. use. Yeah. So impacted you and your business. Yeah. And, uh, I was, I would definitely get better with using it as a marketing, <laughs> <laughs> you know, with video, I find it hard sometimes to use on it, like use in short snippets. It's, you know, just, you got to more think about it ahead of time. It's not something I'm going to be like, just throw an image up there. But I, so I definitely could get better than that, but I have had clients come to me who, uh, this past year I've been getting more clients who aren't referrals necessarily from, um, planners. And so they're finding me online or whatever. And through the site is kind of usually where they're seeing me first. And I've had a few people tell me that, it's, they love the mission behind my company or like, that's what the focus is. And so, yeah, they love my work and they're there for stationary, but they really just connect to the overall brand and what the mission is behind it. And that's obviously was the goal. <laughs> and so I'm not selling invitations. Uh, I'm, I'm selling kind of the idea behind what they do for the couple. And, and you hit up a great point. And that's one of the things that I'm always trying to stress. And, and, and when I talk to businesses about making that investment into their video branding, you know, a lot of people with, they're trying to do their own thing, which is good. There's a place for that. Mm -hmm. Their iPhone, their, their right. own computer, there's a place for that. But there's also a place where that investment into a, like a high end branding style video for your homepage, webpage or other yeah. marketing materials it is needed uh, because it does build that authenticity. It shows your personality and things like that. And I think that's that video that we did really, really sh dives down and shows that in such in a way where, like you said, you got people now they're they're automatically already connecting. They know they want to do business with you right. because they already feel that that connection and the authentic. Like it was just it's just the authenticity and. And, um, in just the trustworthiness they get that by just viewing that. And is that right? And, and I think that, you know, the huge thing behind, I think one why I was so successful, it was such a collaborative effort. It was, um, I, I definitely like, and I know there's budgets for everyone, but I do think, I think video is huge. And, but I also, I worked with a copywriter to help with the copy, um, me being creative myself, put a ton of time into really like communicating to you guys what my vision was in my head so you could translate it into your skill and what you do. Um, and I think that, you know, just being the, the most important part I think to start off with is to make sure that you under, you understand your story. Like what is your story? So you can then go and tell it. 
Uh, and that's then you come to you guys and that's what you do. You help, you help to uh, bring all the pieces together. Cause I felt like I had all the different pieces and I didn't know how to bring them all together. <laughs> and so, uh, you guys did that for me. And, and it's honestly, I, you know, at the end, you're so proud of it. And it's something that it, it says so much in such a short span, you know, what, I don't know, it was like three minutes, I think. Yeah. It's only like two and a half, three minutes. But. Yeah. And, but it tells so much in such a very succinct way. And with today's era, you have to be, you have to find ways to do that and grab someone's attention very quickly, but powerfully. And I think that's what video does because now, you know, with Instagram, everything's very more, it's more visual. It's not so much focus on the words anymore as it used to be like throw everything you want to say onto a website. No one's reading it now. And so everything's so short. So I feel like video is able to do all those things, deliver verbiage, deliver content and imagery, but also emotion which is huge. And you can't, that's really, yeah, you can do it through imagery, um, just flat, flat, you know, still images, but to really get that all together has a huge impact and make someone, like you said, feel like they already know you before yeah. they meet with you. Well, it's and an so amazing calling. Yeah. yeah. It's an amazing calling. It's an amazing calling to, to women. You talk about the empowerment of women. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you, you, it was, the, the, the personality of your joyfulness and the spiritness or the spirit that you have along with the fashion and the, and the, just like you said, your branding style and you have an amazing following too. So like not to obviously kind of still talk about the video a little bit, but what are you, <laughs> it is one of my proudest accomplishments. One of our proudest accomplishments. <laughs> I, I, as I still look at today. I'm like, man, who I, I there's just nothing that compared to it. I don't know what to. If everything fails. I got the video. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. If I retire today, I'm going out be, with that <laughs> in my yeah. feather and my cap. So. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, you you have such an amazing following on Instagram. You have an amazing following on, just on your guys, on your social media platform. Yeah. What what can you tell people that that are looking to obviously brand themselves, maybe start up their companies that are, that are trying to be creatives? How do they get that following? How do they, how do they find that style? Like, like what do you do on a daily that just continues to have people come follow you and find you and, and that type of thing? Yeah, I think again, I'll just use Instagram as an example. Cause I think it's the easy and most um, common one right now where yeah. people are really trying to expand. Uh, I, I feel Again, it's kind of like the same thing with video. You have to bring all the different components together. So yes, you can have visuals, but I also think the copy, you know, what you're saying underneath the images, even though everyone's not reading them, uh, you might say something that connects to just that one person and that the image doesn't say what you say in, you know, in your caption. Uh, and I think, you know, consistency is huge. Uh, obviously, when I think I use um, an app called Plainly, which is pretty common, um, popular right now, but it so allows me to plan out my grid. So, I mean, it's, it's, okay. it's a reality of, you can't, it's not just slapping up an image. You do have to plan and strategy. There is a strategy behind it. Mm-hmm. I try to be, I'll be honest. I try to be lenient. I don't get super crazy. I, I don't, I, cause if I allow myself being the creative I am, I could spend hours trying to like put all these images and make them work. But I, I, I do want to still feel organic and genuine. So I don't do like plan it months in advance. I might just plan a couple of days or yeah. because if something comes up and something naturally is speaking to me, I want to be able to post about it, you know? Yeah. So, so I think there has to be a mix. So you obviously are selling something, whatever, a service, a, a product. And so you have to find ways to integrate that into your, to your feed. Uh, but also I think people connect with people. So it's, it's finding ways to bring your own personality or even if you're a larger to your larger company, it's a team whatever it may be, the culture. So bringing in that culture into the uh, feed and so that they want to be a part of it. And so I think, you know, community is huge on um, Instagram and just people connecting for, usually it's connecting for not anything to do with what you're selling. (laughs) Uh, Very true. true. Yeah. And so just bringing all those different components together. And I think just naturally doing from a very genuine place makes it feel genuine. If it's not forced or, uh, cause sometimes they'll be like, I'll be like, Oh, I haven't posted today, but if I'm just not feeling it then I don't post cause I'm like me forcing that isn't going to do anything either. Uh, and people that might have different perspectives on that and not agree with me, but 
No, I love it. I, and I, I do. I, for, I'm one of the people on your team. So on your yeah. on that side thing, so there's no disagreement here. doesn't make a very good interview for a debate, but, <laughs> but right. I, I completely in agreement with you on that. Um, now, as a creative, what do you do when you do find yourself in those ruts? Because my whole message here as a, you know, just create is that it allows us to be able to escape our minds from our day to day basis, it allows us to grow as a person, it allows us to commit, it allows us to take action. You know, I think everyone is a creative in some capacity. They just have to find that outlet. But there are times where we, as even as creatives, we find ourselves in a rut. Uh, writer's block per se, you know, what do you do to get yourself kind of out of that? Or when you kind of fall into those moments? Yeah, usually I need to step away. So not force it. <laughs> and I know that always doesn't work. It timelines don't allow for that. Yeah. <laughs> but hopefully, um, you know, if they're, even if it's like five minutes, you know, just the, a short time to just step away and kind of come back and look at it differently. I think when we stare at things for so long, we, we, can't see past anything at a certain point. And it's like, this is doing no one any good to sit here and stare at this any longer. So that, um, uh, I think just getting out outside, uh, just, and just looking at things differently. So it's simple things, but you know, I'm obviously with me being a graphic designer, I look at signage and packaging and, uh, at the grocery store, you know, just things and that people aren't really paying, they are paying attention but very subconsciously where I'm being more intentional about it, uh, those types of things. And also just, um, pulling, pulling bits and pieces from other things that might not relate. So for example, a color palette, maybe from a photo that has nothing to do with weddings might inspire something, uh, you know, a texture on the ground. It's just kind of keeping your mind open and being able to soak in those things when they, they are there, but not get, not having to be forced to go out and search for them. Yeah, no, that's a really great point. Cause I do find that sometimes we kind of get in the weeds and, and once we're in there, we just, it, we lose where we're at. It's like we're drowning in whatever we're in the middle of. Yeah. And I think, you know, that just comes to with business of being a business owner, uh, the ebbs and flows of <laughs> it's not all, it's not all glam <laughs> and glamorous life. <laughs> totally. I'm pretty Every sure today I was ready to quit. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's not always the best, but you know, no. you gotta, you take the bad with the good. And I, I always remind myself of why I do what I do. And the big thing for me, um, with now being a mom is the flexibility and being able to spend time with my daughter and, you know, being available to her when, if I had a nine to five job that would be able to happen. And so it makes those harder moments a little softer, I guess, <laughs> because, um, you know, just reminding yourself why you do what you do. And, and I think too, just evolving and not feeling like you have to constantly do like I, you know, if I've been doing this, this how I've always done it. Like maybe it's time to change things up. I'm going at something else I'm experiencing today. I'm Starting thinking like adventure. maybe this, I've done this since I've been doing business, but maybe it's not right anymore. Yeah. And I think just, con you know, I try not to constantly think, how can I improve, like put all that pressure on myself yeah. or what do I need to be doing next to be the next thing or whatever. And I think this past year, I kind of was in the moment of, I'm just okay with, where I'm at. And I had to be with some personal things that were going on and that was refreshing. And I think because I did that is allowed me this year, ironically, even though I have a five month old daughter, I'm first baby and everything life is crazy, but I have this like fire in me to like make moves this year, which I think if you constantly do that, you just get exhausted and you never make moves because you're just you keep trying, you know, so I think you kind of, again, takes the ebbs and flows of, okay, now I'm going to be okay with where I'm at. And then when you feel a little itch, then you <laughs> go back up again and work for something else. So, well, I, it's just, go ahead. Oh no. What I was about to say was that you, you, you kind of talking about, you know, you were going through some, you know, personal stuff. It was affecting mm -hmm. a little bit, but right. I, I think one of the things that, that, that creatives, or people that want to be creative or dive into something, especially in a business where honestly you're going to be critiqued. People are not going to like, even though you think it might be the best thing in the world. Someone may not yeah. like it, you know, whatever the case may be. And you have to always know that it's the client's projects. Right. But, but yeah. what I, and so people are fearful, but what I'm very impressed and I'm always, always just, um, uh, always, always, um, I guess inspired actually is seeing like your brand 
in, in your message and everything you do, you're, you're not fearful of what's going on in your life. You, I mean, obviously you don't explode into details, but like you could tell, like when we see you, like we could tell, like there's something going on and like, but you're fighting through it and you're like, you're allowing us to kind of go along with your ride. And I li- right. just love how you feel. You just lay, you know, everything is out in the open for you. You you wear your your passion on your sleeves, you know. Yeah, and I say wear your heart on your sleeves. Yes. Um, so I I've, oh, well, I, I think that it comes with the personality thing too. So I've always been very much an open book. Um, sometimes I can probably pull back a little bit and not <laughs> not put everything out there. Uh, my husband's super private, so we work well together. Uh, I, so I do think there's a personality aspect in there. So you have to feel comfortable. Uh, but again, it comes back to the mission behind the company, like empowering someone to be okay with your story. Like no one's story is all perfect and nothing's all glamorous. There are, there are definitely bad things for everyone and we all go through our, our own issues. And I think the more we kind of hide behind them or feel, I guess it, it makes you feel more shame behind them. And, but the more you, I find that when you share it, you find others, you're going through the same thing. And again, it builds more community and you feel like you're not alone. Uh, people, you know, not intentionally, but you putting things out there like that and just sharing kind of your story. Again, it, 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 they connect to you for different reasons. Maybe they have a similar story that you don't even know about and you don't need to know that they have that story. Yeah, it's but, not. but that makes them more connected with you for other reasons. Therefore, you know, it could build, bring you business and all those things. And it's not, but again, I think what's important is never, it's all genuine. I'm not putting it out there to get the, do the pity party to do uh, like, Oh, woe was me. It's it more never, of like, I don't hey, think it ever comes across that way at all. It's more of yeah, a, and I think, you know, it's, it's just powerful. Like, hey, here it is. And so this is how it's going today. And so you can, if you want to hear it, great. Here it is. If not, then move on, I guess. <laughs> uh, and I think it does. I think a lot of that comes with age and my experiences. And you get to a point where you're like, I can't, I can't live my life for anyone else but myself. And I mean that from a very selfless place, um, not from a selfish place, but uh, that you can't, you know, I can't be a good mom, a good wife, a good sister, a good friend if I'm not focusing on myself and being who I really want to be. And so when it starts there, it just trickles off to everyone around you and uh, that's this powerful effect. So no, it, I know that's crazy. It's like, oh, you have a stationary business, but it's really more no, than that. No, it is, a, <laughs> it, it is a lot more than that. And and obviously as a guy, I'm not, you know, like I, <laughs> I'm not a woman, you don't, you know, you're not, uh, it's not something I go after of, but, but I do follow because it, one, it does the, the creativity that you bring into this world and to your brand and to it, through your social media, uh, through your clients, it, mm-hmm. it just speaks volume of who you are as a person, but also it really does resonate with people beyond just brides or, or, or whatever your new ventures are. It is hitting people right. like myself and, and it helps my creativity expand because I, I, seeing the fashion, the style. I don't have any, you do. It's great. <laughs> it, it, it helps me out. So, uh, right, right. <laughs> but uh, speaking of fashion and style. So one thing I haven't yeah. talked to you about, and, and this was really interesting. So I had uh, one of my, he was actually my very first guest of the show. He's a, uh, he's a, been a TV producer for, for, I don't know, over 40 years. He's been in LA he he tries to create different different pilot shows right for reality TV, or not reality but like just different types of style of shows that he has so yeah. he, he knows where to go and 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 talk he's and he's coming up to me and I showed him the video that we did and he's like we need to start a series with her she is perfect she is perfect <laughs> So like, I just want to let you know, you got people pull, like telling me that I need to get you to start your own TV series. And, well, it's, so uh, funny that, it's so funny that you say that because I think I've talked to you about this too. I have a goal to do like, not, I wouldn't call it a series. Well, maybe, but yeah. not an ongoing series. Yeah. It's more like a, um, you know, if brides came to me, it would be like a seven day series that they get tips and tricks on how to handle the planning process and more from my, my, um, expertise from stationery. Exactly. We just also how to bring themselves into their wedding and, uh, their personality and those types of things. So, and I've always been told like I should do video and everything. It's 
We need to do it. We need to do it. Let's do it again. We we need to work again. It's it's been too long that we haven't done anything together (laughs) since then. So we definitely need to start doing something like that. And then my daughter will definitely be mad if I don't ask this how this happened. But uh, yeah, so (laughs) I don't. So (laughs) my daughter's a huge fan of um, the Disney show. some meet in the middle or middle. What was oh, it? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. The, the like Your a family. Day, yes. Yes. <laughs> the family of like 12 and yeah. there's like a middle child and she's like yep. the main character. Yep. And we saw that you did something with her. Tell us a yes. little bit about that. And, and <laughs> wow. I was yeah. Like, and it's crazy. Like that's an example of, um, I think, okay. So I'm trying to think where to start. Actually it was dressed behind me. This is kind of the start of it all. So we had a wedding, um, industry. Oh, I had a wedding industry event and, uh, they asked for us like five of us, I think stationers to design dresses out of paper. And it was at the art museum. So it made sense and everything. So, okay, great. Well, I had a friend who, uh, did, who worked with Cricut, which is a cutting machine and a cutting machine that like, um, DIYers have in their home across the U.S. So it's very attainable. And so I knew my, my friend had one and I was like, hey, I just wanted to borrow hers so I could cut out a bunch of this paper and hearts and things. And she, next thing I know, there's a cricket on my doorstep uh, from the company. And so she was actually a, a brand rep advocate for them. And she had let them know what I was doing. And so they sent it to me and I created this. And then that sparked this whole thing where I became a brand stylist for Cricut, where I was creating content for them um, project wise for their design space and things. And then I did that for, I think a couple years maybe. And then this project came to me. Um, They were wanting me to do a room makeover uh, for Jenna. And it was just, it, they, again, my brand spoke for me and they were like, I think your brand would be perfect. You know, you would be the perfect candidate for this. And mind you, I had never like style, like done a room makeover. <laughs> I'd never done any like room design, like interior design. It's and it's always, it's always, yeah. And I, I, I'll be honest, like I went into it a little like scared because I was like, I've never done this before. I mean, I felt confident in my design aesthetic that I could figure it out, but it wasn't, I would never call myself a designer in terms of interior spaces. So I, um, they asked me to do it. We, I got to, and I like led the whole project. I was able to work with the collaborators from like pulling, telling them what furniture I wanted, um, to then I designed obviously all the different cricket projects that we installed in her room and incorporated in that, the product into her room. And we got to, fly out to her house and we installed it all and did a photo shoot and yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> wow. wow. Um, and I obviously didn't know who she was. I'll be honest. Like I didn't, I, she's not. <laughs> Wait till your daughter starts yeah. watching Disney and you know, right, it's stuck right. in the middle very first. Yeah, uh, you'll get right. all those shows. And, um, and she, she's also in Jane the Virgin. So I don't know. Um, she's the, she's like Jane. She's the, the little girl, like the little version. The oh, little okay. okay. She's in another movie. I think it's on um, CW or something. Probably, yeah. Anyways, because um, other people were like familiar with her. But no, it was super fun. She was adorable and uh, amazing. And uh, so, yeah, I, I, that honestly kind of sparked my area into the brand styling. I really enjoyed it. And uh, I've done a few other things. Oh, I've done a lot with cricket, quite honestly. I've done quite a bit. But uh, those types of things, it just made me like, oh, I can do this too. <laughs> so if something comes along, great. It's not something I, I really push or promote, but it was, a, it was really fun. That is amazing. Well, it's a great story. to. It's, it really is a great story of showing how creativeness takes you in places that you have never would ever. And branding. Imagine. It literally, it had a lot to do with like just me being consistent in what I was giving them and my content creation. And they were like, they felt very confident in who I was and what I do. And they knew that the end result would reflect that. And that's what they were looking for. So, Well, Heidi, you are absolutely amazing. It was great catching up again with you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on and joining us. I mean, you're such a, like I said, a true inspiration to, to not just women, but to entrepreneurs, to creators, to business owners. And uh, keep on doing what you're doing because 
it really is uh, pretty amazing. And where can people find you? How, how can people find you? Yeah, so um, this is a struggle with the way I named my business. So no one can spell it. <laughs> her name, her name it, backwards, it's, not that hard. It's worth the, it's worth the creativeness behind it because everyone always appreciates it. But it's ideadesign.com. So it's I-D-I-E-H design.com. And then I'm idea design on all social media platforms. Mm. And yeah, that's where I'm at. And thank you so much. Um, I want everyone to know that even, you know, I think everyone, you always, there's someone out there that always seems like, oh, big or their life's grand or great and everything. I think just remember that everyone's a real person. They all go through their struggles. (laughs) I have my days where I cry. I have my (laughs) days, like I said, I'm ready to give up. (laughs) So no, you're not alone. (laughs) I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. And, uh, Uh, Hey, guys, that ends our show for today. Uh, Come back next month. uh, Well, next month. I mean, come back with our next episode. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you will get the subscriptions, uh, notifications when we do release new episodes. And uh, we'll talk to you then. Talk to you guys later.